Boom shakalaka, ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters around the world. It is your boy, Chris Hill, a.k.a. the Esoteric Noetic, a.k.a. the Chocolate Nubian Soul Brother, a.k.a. the Disseminator of Wisdomatic Truth Bombs with my ethical gains. Boom shakalaka. Be sure to like this video, subscribe, click on the bell, tell your friends, tell your mom, drop some comments. You know what it is. Let's get it. All righty. Let's talk about how to get over guilt. Guilt is one of these things that we experience that doesn't really serve us in becoming the greatest version of ourselves. Now, granted, it's good to feel this because it makes us realize that we are human, and chances are if you're experiencing guilt, you're probably not a sociopath or a psychopath as you feel the weight of your actions. That being said, in order to attain the greatest version of ourselves, we need to realize that we are not only our actions. Granted, your actions, that which you do repeatedly, forms habit and will affect what you are becoming. The most important realization is that we are a verb. We are constantly moving, changing. We are constantly matriculating into high levels of awareness. There is this efflorescence in consciousness that is inherent within all beings. This centropic force that allows us to move forward. Ladies and gentlemen, we get caught up in guilt when we are focused on the past and we think we are the actions that we have done in the past. But when you realize that you are based in the now, and you realize that the only constant in the now is change. Boom shakalaka. You realize that you always have the potential to change yourself, to reinvent yourself. That is the majesty of existence, that regardless of where your tra trajectory is, regardless of the actions that you have taken that have formed who you are, who you are becoming is based off of your mind, your heart, your will, your decision to change the course of your trajectory. And granted, there are things that influence who you are. I know a lot of people buy into this idea that, oh, they're b brought up in this horrible environment, that it's the circumstances of their birth that determine who they are, and they can't do anything about it. They believe in this deterministic reality where everything is set forth, and they can't do anything. That, my friends is a fallacy. That's right, yours truly, the Chocolate Nubian, is telling you that that is a fallacy. That is a fallacy because you, at any point, have the ability within yourself to change what your circumstances have brought forth, what your actions have brought forth. As long as you continue moving forward, you can always change yourself around regardless of your astrology, regardless of your environment, regardless of that girl that broke your heart, regardless of whether or not you stole something, you hurt someone. It's funny what we do when we look at someone that has transgressed us and we call someone that has stolen a thief, like that defines who they are for the rest of their lives. Look at someone that has lied once, even for a innocuous reasons, a liar, as if that defines them the rest of their life, when the reality is people are more than their actions. We all at some point have done things that we regret, but the distinction between those that reach their greatest version of themselves is they are focused on the prize. Eyes on the prize, ladies and gentlemen. Remember that at any point, you can change yourself by moving forward. Realizing that you are not your actions. You are based in the now and you are constantly growing. You are constantly changing. And when you have this within your mind, that's what allows you to overcome the guilt. You look at yourself then and you look at yourself now, someone that is changing, and you say to yourself, hmm, what a crazy little boy that was. That boy was. Can't believe he did those crazy things. But look at me now. Now I'm strong. Boom shakalaka. I'm moving forward. I have all these amazing things waiting for me because I'm working towards my goal. 
Ladies and gentlemen, freaks and geeks, never lose sight of the fact that you are not just your actions. <clears throat> Don't allow people's perceptions of you to become your reality. When someone says that you were something because of your past, realize that that is just their limited perception. That regardless of how they see you, regardless of how you saw yourself, the most important question is how you see yourself now. You are not only what you do repeatedly, but you are what you are striving to do, what you put your mind to. You are what you believe you are. Until next time, ladies and gentlemen, freaks and geeks, brothers and sisters around the world, peace out. Keep it real. Don't drive in text. Surya Namaskar and Namaste. Be sure to check out the Telegram group if you want to stay in tune for more wisdomatic truth bombs and what's going on in this crazy Euclidean meat space that we are immersed in. Be sure to check out Hive, the blockchain of the future for social media for content. If you were a content creator or simply just want to interact, or perhaps fed up with the, the legacy social media platforms like Facebook, dare I say YouTube, and so forth, and want to get paid for your content, for content, for commenting, then check out Hive. You can check out the link below. And uh, check out some of the other social media platforms that I'm using, like Odyssey, aka Library, and so forth. Peace out. Have an amazing weekend, ladies and gentlemen. Until next time. Oh, and be sure to check out my other channel, The Exoteric Noetic, if you want to stay in the known for the... Uh, the conspiracy conspiratorial side of things ow what is liberty what the he says you can't build muscle on a vegan diet what's it like being a, a hottie in the vegan community there are no political solutions only technological ones the economics of the system don't allow multiple competing systems to survive engineering technology these arts of humanity, they are magic.